Welcome back, 17 on set. Joining us this morning, Abel Guzman, the BC director for the Delano Campus and Rural Initiatives, and Olivia Garcia, associate professor at Bakersfield College, here to tell us more about an exciting new early college program coming to BC and one local high school to start. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks so for having us. This is um, really new, really exciting. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, you know, I think it's something that's very innovative. Again, it's another example of Bakersfield being at the forefront and making some dramatic impact and trying to reach students of all level. Here, like I mentioned, it's like imagine being a freshman in high school and taking your high school classes, but also having an opportunity to take college classes from your freshman level all moving forward. So by the time you graduate from high school, you have your diploma and you can have your associate degree. Now, I know many schools already have something where you can work to earn college credits, mm -hmm. but this is like something so dramatic, very innovative, and it's a way for us to try to increase and draw more students to graduate. And also, by the time they graduate, they're either ready to go to work or they can also continue on with your two-year degree. And we wow. all know it's expensive. The other thing is free. This is free. This so is this free. one means getting your associate's degree for free by the time you graduate high school. Yeah. It, it, so. it seems like it could be a really um, heavy workload to me for high school students. Is that going to be a problem? Well, it, it is um, a heavy workload, but it, we build a, a support network around this program so that students have tutoring, um, counseling, advising to make sure that they stay on track and don't feel like they're alone out there in this, this, this in, uh, initiative. All right, so starting with one high school. Yes, so McFarland High School is jumping on board and uh, for their incoming freshmen uh, for the next school year, they're all going to be on a pathway, uh, early college pathway. Do they choose that or is it just automatic? They're going to be given this opportunity, okay. and then they'll get to choose which pathway uh, they actually get to get on. So all the high schools will be working with their with the college and picking kind of what they envision as the best pathways to be. Um, the one thing is what we found is that the kids that sign up for this are going to be like these high achieving students. Mm -hmm who are very very much under resourced though like I mentioned and like Abel says you know we'll be have there will be services that will provide them but you know you know you can know you've been you've been there you know been in high school you want to get things done and you're probably you know I, I what else can I do to get ahead of it and I think what we'll find and what we've seen so far with our first set of graduates last year is that they're on fire they're gonna make so you know exciting. yes Really cool. Okay, so starting one high school, they hope to expand, obviously, coming up soon. But um, if you attended McFarland High School, know that this is coming. Thank you both so much for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back after this.